It's Platt, and today we try another beer inspired by a great hard rock band. That's next to Platt's Beer of the Week. So a couple weeks back, I tried a beer inspired by a uh, Iron Maiden song called Trooper, and it was a collaboration between the band and the brewery. Um, so I thought I'd keep up the theme today. I'd recently found this beer a, a couple weeks ago in my local liquor store. Um, a Def Leppard Pale Ale comes to us from Elysian Brewing. Elysian Brewing uh, was founded in 1995. The brewery opened in 1996 in the Capitol Hill area of Seattle, Washington. Uh, today, the company's made up of a production brewery and three brew pubs, including a brew pub located across the street from City Link Field, where, uh, it, which is the home of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, the company was purchased by InBev in 2015. InBev's the parent company of Budweiser. So yes, this is another uh, craft brewery that got bought up by the big guys, but we won't hold that against them too much. Um, as far as the collaboration with Def Leppard, um, Elysian actually uh, has done several music-themed beers over the years. Um, actually, Elysian's most known uh, for their uh, pumpkin beers. They do four pumpkin beers seasonally. Uh, they also hold a pumpkin beer festival, which you can drink a beer out of a pumpkin, actually. Um, again, they've done several music collaborations. Um, or music themed beers. They have a, a pale ale called Loser, which is a kind of a grunge themed beer, which fits for Seattle. Uh, one of their seasonal beers is called Dark of the Moon, kind of an homage to the Ozzy Osbourne song, Bark at the Moon. Um, they've also do a collaboration with local rock station KISW in Seattle. They uh, collaborate on a rock and roll themed uh, red ale. So it kind of made sense that a band like Def Leppard would come to Elysian to work on a beer like this. This is their pale ale. Uh, before we give their pale ale a try, let's check out the stats. All right, so I'm going to assume that most of you know a little bit or at least heard, heard uh, the name Def Leppard. Uh, maybe it's not your type of music, but maybe it's your dad's type of music, or your uncle's, or someone older, <laughs> like my age. Uh, a little background on the band. The band was founded in 1977 in Sheffield, England. They have sold over 100 million albums worldwide. Uh, they have two of their albums are certified diamond. Diamond meaning that you sold 10 million or more of that particular album. Uh, they have two, two of those albums, Pyromania and Hysteria. The band itself has overcome a lot over the years. Uh, they've lost the death of their guitarist Steve Clark, uh, most famously probably their uh, drummer Rick Allen losing an arm in an accident back in the mid '80s, and them continuing on with him as a one-arm drummer. Um, the band itself, though, is still around and kicking, still touring. Uh, in 2019, they made it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame finally, and well deserved. Um, I believe now they're going on the road this next summer on a big stadium tour with a couple other bands. So they're still out there live and kicking. Let's give their beer a try. The Def Leppard Pale Ale. Thinner head, not even half a finger of light khaki head, um, somewhat cloudy. Let's give her on the nose. A little bit of hop, a little bit of malts. Um, I'm gonna say for a west coast, uh, a pale ale brewed on the west coast, though, light hop on the nose. Let's give her a try. All right, this is more um, kind of malt based, which kind of makes sense because Def Leppard, being from England, probably wants that maltier um, pale ale. Uh, there's some hot bitterness on the back end of this, but not a lot. Um, you don't get those classic West Coast, you know, Cascade style hops. Um, yeah, this is kind of a hybrid, probably a little closer to the classic British 
style pale ale with the noble hops, which are a little more subtle, a little less, a uh, little less citrusy, a little less, you know, they, they almost have a pine uh, kind of uh, flavor or nose to them. Uh, this is a little more subtle on the hop side. Nice bitterness. Um, or a decent amount of bitterness. Plenty of malt in there. Um, I will say this leans more to a, a, kind of a classic pub style beer than it does the traditional kind of West Coast pale ale. But probably, probably a little compromise on both styles. Uh, very nice drink one enough beer um i'm not gonna say this is something you have to go out of your way for but if you're a big fan of the band or what have you um not bad not bad uh not the most ringing endorsement it it's um uh, like i said stylistically kind of uh, in a, in no man's land but uh Still, overall, a nice, nice enough drinkable pale ale. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you need questions, comments, concerns, or beers that you would like me to try, please leave them in the comment section below. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.